What is finite and what is infinite? When we say finite, we are talking about an entire number system. Mathematics means uh, from one to nobody knows what's the last number. Because we don't know the last number, we said infinite. Finite means we can count. What we cannot count, we will create calculators. What a calculator cannot count, we'll create a computer. What a computer cannot count, we will create a supercomputer. But the number system does not end there, just goes on. Even if you make a supreme computer, still you cannot really count, it just goes on. So we came up saying, there is something called as infinite. Essentially we are saying something that's out of our grasp. We are not talking about infinite as some kind of an ultimate number. We are talking about that which is out of our grasp. We are calling that infinite. Infinite is not some kind of a huge number. It's not a number, really. It is out of the number system. Even zero is out of the number system, but we have adapted. We adapted zero because we couldn't go beyond our number of fingers, so we adopted. You know how the Romans counted, what a miserable mathematics they had? You don't know? You know the Roman number system? By the time you get to two hundred, you would have gone crazy. So, the Indians came up with the system, you adapt because if you go with numbers, you will get lost. You adopt something which does not belong to the number system to complement the number system, that is a zero. Now, these are not mathematics fans, <laughs> these are Indians. Nationalism is on the growth <laughs> So, the infinite, we were wondering what to do with the infinite. Then the Indian yogis found a way. They just kept their own hand like this. When their experience of life became boundless, they checked and they found their own energies were going like this. So whenever they became boundless, their energy system took this pattern. So they gave this as the symbol for that which is numberless or beyond number system. So today, you're using that as the sign of infinity or infinite nature. This was also referred to as the arborist, that is a snake twisting itself where it is eating its own tail, so it becomes a… the symbol of infinite. Why this is significant is because this is manifest. This is manifest in our own experience, in our energy, that when we become boundless in our experience, our energy start moving like this. Otherwise, they're moving like this, a spiral. A spiral in the yogic system or in this culture is referred to as samsara. A spiral means it's a never-ending process, just goes on and on and on and on. And it is circular in nature. That means in some way it is controlled. 
within that control sphere, it goes on endlessly. And <laughs> that's how people expect you to be. They want you, they don't mind you running around a bit, as long as you're somewhere close by and running around. You want to go like this in search of truth. No. Your samsara will not allow you. <laughs> this is why in the world, if you smoke, if you drink and even if you philander a little bit, they won't mind. But if you say, I am going to a guru, <laughs> the worst… the worst kind of resistance will come because they know now you are trying to go like this. Now you are done with this, this chakra, if you go here, there also you will come. <laughs> but once you start going like this, you are lost to them. But spiritual process means not that you must run away somewhere because the geography where you choose to live, it doesn't decide the quality of your life. Whether you live at home or in the ashram, you can be either free or entangled both ways. So the geography doesn't decide. It is the moment of life within you. Which way is it moving? Is it in spiral or has it gotten into the right kind of loop that it is moving towards its infinite nature? If you keep the doorways of this life process open, then it will naturally move because infinite possibility is wide open. All the life that the cosmos holds is available to you. Once you sing, swing your energies into your infinite gear, life happens differently, totally differently. We will uh, put a symbol of the infinite. This symbol of infinite, this is not a symbol just made up by human beings. This actually happens. You should not go putting your hand on other people's heads because who knows, you may be reincarnation of Basmasura. <laughs> so you should not try this, but actually, so I won't tell you where to try, but upon one's head, if they're in a certain state, if you hold your hand, you will see the energy is moving this way. I won't tell you where so that you don't go and do these things to everybody. <clears throat> so this is not something that we have made up. This is the natural sequence of energy it gets into when a limited dimension of life touches the boundless nature of existence. The energy system, which still needs to be limited to make this body function, gets into this loop. If this becomes boundless, this cannot be an individual life, it will go. But it is within the boundaries of this body, but it is touching a dimension which is boundless. Now this limited energy gets into this pattern. So that is how we have arrived at the symbol for the infinite. The zero and the infinite made in India. Because it takes a deeply meditative being to arrive at a number which is nothing. A zero is nothing, infinite is nothing in a way. To arrive at a number system which actually doesn't add up, this can only be done 
by a profoundly meditative being, otherwise it cannot be done. <clears throat> so, we will put up a symbol of the infinite and a small dot will be there and this will slowly move along the line and it will traverse the image of the infinite. It will take four and a half minutes to complete one cycle. I want you both visually and mentally, if possible, you put emotion into this dot because most of you cannot keep your mind on anything unless you're emotionally connected to it. Keep your hands open, sit still. Focus your attention, visual attention, mental and emotional attention, absolutely, on the white dot. Eyes open.
keep your eyes closed and just sit still. Keep your eyes closed and just sit still. Just sit still, unmoving, absolutely still.
all moment has beginning and an end. Stillness is beginningless and endless. You sit still, absolutely. Hold your body still, totally still. Guru Bina Kesa Guru Gave Guru Bina Kesa Guru Gave
Take your own time. Take your own time. Slowly, very slowly. Open your eyes.